welcoming uh, onto the front row for tomorrow's first race. Josh Brooks for Taiko Suzuki, Michael Lanity for Samsung Honda, Tommy Hill for Swan Yamaha, and for Rapid Solicitors Kawasaki with his first pole position of 2012, Shane Shaky Burn. Congratulations, guys. Um, start with you, if I may, Josh. Um, I suppose picking up on the incident this morning, if we can, because it was quite an eventful morning for you. Uh, it's been a quite an eventful weekend, you know, I, um, I come to this event really quite confident actually, you know, at the end of last season um, we left this circuit and I had uh, out of three races two fastest laps and also got the pole position in qualifying and set fastest lap for the circuit, so I mean, I come here expecting to, to sort of emulate the same type of weekend and um, it just hasn't been working for me, I have, I've been struggling since the first lap around just to really get the confidence I need um, front and rear with the bike and you know, it's just it's just not really coming to me as easy as I'd hoping it would. And then um, I uh, come up on the back of Bin Laden there in the practice, and I come up so fast I had to sort of choose left or right to go around him. I went to the right and went on the inside, and everything went smooth there. But on the exit of the turn, I ran out of ran out of track, and I was I was leaning quite heavily on the on the dirty part of the circuit and, and crashed. So that's uh, that sort of. And at that point, I was already still quite a bit behind the eight ball as far as lap times were going. So it was a bit of a setback for us and. Um, going into qualifying, it was sort of still still practice for me. The first um, qualifying run there, I was, you know, wondering if I'd actually even make it into the final final uh, run. And um, luckily, step by step, we've sort of just done some last minute sort of things that um, with with the springs and oil and, and suspension sort of side, just to try and get a bit more confidence with the bike. And um, and luckily, you know, with our experience, we've been able to keep improving. And um, you can probably tell by the sweat dripping out of me. I've, I've been working so hard to try and bridge the gap, and um, so I'm very, very grateful to be here on the front row. But of course, not satisfied to to have to work so hard to to bridge that gap. We need to do some do some work tonight and try and um, discover exactly what it is that that's stopping us from being more competitive. Samsung Hondas, Michael Loverty, Michael, you you flew out of the gates for that last for Q3 there, and uh, almost though you were determined to try and get on the front row. You're here now. How does it feel? Yeah, reasonably happy. We've been a little bit behind the, the ball of, on lap times all day. We, we started this weekend with a completely different setup to what we've been running all year. It seemed to work on the indie track yesterday, and then this morning, we, once we got out onto the GP circuit, we started to come into a few issues. So we worked through pre-practice one and two to try and rectify those, and then for, for qualifying, we decided to go back to what we know. So we started Q1 with a completely different bike to what I've been riding all weekend. So. We spent Q1 dialing it in, Q2 made a little change, and then Q3 another one. So we we had we improved some areas and made some worse. So we need to do some homework tonight and try and piece it all together and come out with a, a better package to race with tomorrow. So I think we'll be com fairly competitive. But like Josh, I'd done a 25-1 round here last year in qualifying and only done a 26-1 today. So the track does seem a little bit slick. Um, I'm not sure if that's it or you know the the spec of the bikes this year. We maybe are just a little bit slower, but. I'm working hard as well, and, and uh, hopefully we can we can uh, put our finger on exactly what it is we need tonight and uh, come back strong tomorrow. But overall, quite happy. I think I know where we need to where we need to go with the bike, and we should be strong for the races tomorrow. Tommy, Tommy, um, how was qualifying? It's always good to be on the front row. Obviously, it's where we need to be, especially with uh, these four faces as normal. Um, you know, it uh, just shows you that there's a few riders now starting to starting to shine a little bit, and um, you know we need to sort of keep our pace strong and as I've said all year you know even if we have a good weekend sort of sets a red mist down in other garages you know so if we're not moving forward other people are in a pit lane and uh, we need to keep making sure we are as well but um, qualifying for me was um, I was a bit frustrated I started to over over ride the bike I mean uh, we've had a few sort of fueling issues all year like on and off and um, again the bike felt quite a bit different in that session and i switched between another map then went back to the last map for for another another lap to try and uh pip shake it at the end there but um yeah it was uh i mean we're all riding hard at the end of the day and all pushing hard and uh you know we, we're on the front row and it's exactly where we need to be you know if you've got different riders up here we could afford to maybe be on second row or third row but when you've got uh, the same same riders week in week out at the top we need to be there at the sharp end as well and uh package is working well we've got to work on a few things tomorrow i mean uh you know, Swan Yamaha has been going well. We had a fantastic weekend at Alton Park. Um, you know, most of my career I've gone quite well at Alton Park, and we need to try and turn them same results this weekend at Brands Hatch. For his first pole position in 2012, must be delighted. Shane Shaky Burn, how's it feel, Shaky? 
Would have been better if it weren't at Brands Hatch because then one could get labelled a Brands Hatch specialist. <laughs> um, What's the weather doing tomorrow, by the way? Oh, it's going to be good, all right. <laughs> yeah. If it gets that good, we'll just all sit down and have a sunbathe, I reckon. Um, yeah, no, I mean, uh, obviously I'm happy. Uh, my crew chief said to me before the, the qualifying session started, or after the, the second one actually, he said to me, you're going to need to do a 25 if you want pole. I said, well, I ain't no bothered about pole because I didn't think a 25 would be possible because of the, the pace that we've all been doing all weekend. and. Uh, you know, uh, the lap times that I, I guess all of us have done in, in qualifying aren't going to be necessarily the lap times that we'll do tomorrow in the race. And, uh, you know, I think um, maybe there was a little bit psychologically at the end there after the, the big blow up um, down into the into the end of the back straight there that made you perhaps just a little bit ginger through the, through the corner. So maybe there was a tiny bit more time to come, but uh, <laughs> it, uh, that, that was, you know, I think that's about the only thing that, that's kind of holding us all back. You know, we've all got less power than we had last year, I guess. We've all got, you know, electronics this year. And, uh, yeah, we're all having to, to ride our bikes really, really hard. And, you know, like Tommy and the guys have said, you know, it's, it's the usual the usual four of us up here. And, uh, you know, you can't, you can't rest on anything. You know, the fact that we've got pole position just means we've got a good starting place for one race tomorrow. So uh, we need to continue working tomorrow morning and uh, try some stuff in warm-up. We've already got some ideas. Um, and see if we can, you know, maintain a, a decent race pace for the for the two races.